Hey, this is Mad Hatter here, and I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Today, we're going to play UHC, or we're going to show you how to play UHC in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We're also going to show you a tool that I made to make custom rules for your own UHC. Let's get started with just looking at how it works. So, to start with, I have a world that has my behavior pack attached, and it has cheats enabled. So, if I do function, UHC function start UHC sorry and I push enter it will spread players and it will uh, get me ready to start fighting if this was a survival world I would jump over and I would start punching things but for now we're gonna go near the world border so we're going to TP at at s 1400 five zero so now it tells me that I am near the world border, and the next time that the game stage changes, I will take damage. So now if I walk, which way is the right way? The wrong way, I guess. This way? Yes. If I walk this way, just a couple of blocks, 13, oh, see? Now I'm taking damage. That's because I was outside the world border. I was taking wither damage, and it will kill me if I don't get back inside the world border. Now if I go with inside of that 1329 it says below, uh, in the text bar, it will stop telling me that I'm outside the world border. So let's go to 1326 and I will be safe next game update. Now if I go back outside, pops right back up. So now you're gonna say, oh yeah that's great, you can do borders but what about when you die in bedrock there's no there's no spectator mode so what are you gonna do when somebody dies and they go just continue playing so what I've done is when you die we're gonna go out to the world border because that's the easiest way to die right now when you die you're gonna respawn in adventure mode with no um, no ability to pick up, use, or interact with items. So right now, I can't place these. I can't move around. But I do have flight. And I'm invisible. And with a resource pack, which I will put a resource pack in the download link, you can turn these uh, barrier blocks into invisible blocks and then you just have a little bit of particle effects that'll it's all that you'll be able to see you can't hurt mobs you can't punch people you can't break blocks you can't place blocks you can't empty your inventory you can't you can't do anything really you can just fly around and watch which is kind of an analog for spectator mode right now in bedrock so this is how a player after they die will be in the world until the UHC is over there's no way to get out of it, at least not without doing some command work. So you can still die, and if you die, you will uh, respawn at the uh, the world spawn again, or respawn at zero zero. If I could actually die, let's put ourselves on magnet blocks. So if I respawn. I still get all the things. I still can fly around. I can't place blocks. Can't drop blocks. Nothing I can do. So let's see how to make our own custom version. So in my in the download section, all right, sorry, in the links, there is a GitHub repo. You can download that repo and it has an executable and a Python script. I'm going to run the executable now. Uh, the Python script is for you to know exactly how it works. You can modify it, you can add things, you can set, submit uh, feature uh, changes, you can submit new code to it, and I will review it. So anyway, this now I'm going to set to 180 second game time. Uh, test is the name of the pack. It will be appended to the end of the Hatter UHC. So this can be short UHC. 
we're going to set the total game time out to 180 seconds. That's a total time from the time that you run uh, start UHC until the last border shrinks. No PvP time is how long until you are allowed to uh, do PvP in the world. Round time is how long it takes to uh, shrink the world border in by one. It'll calculate the number of rounds automatically. Starting border is how far away uh, you can go at the beginning of the game before you'll take damage. Ending border is the smallest circle that will exist at the end of the game where you won't take damage. So this is going to be like that. We're going to hit make pack. It's going to spit up a bunch of text in the command prompt. Hit spit out a pack. I double click it. And then we're going to make a new world for this to play on. So we're going to create, create new world. We're going to enable cheats. You need cheats to activate the pack. We're going to enable education edition. You need the education edition so that you can fly. If you don't have education edition, the person will not be able to fly. And then we're going to go to behavior packs, my packs, custom UHC, short, activate, create. Here we are in a world, and one of the, the first things that you're going to want to do when you're starting this UHC is go to 0, 0. The game is going to be based around 0, 0. You can do that by running uh, function stop UHC, and it will bring you directly to 0, 0. That allows us to set the game up reliably. If you just run function start UHC and you haven't loaded 0, 0, it sometimes doesn't start the game properly. The good news is you can just stop UHC, start UHC, and it will it'll load properly. But let's go to start UHC this time. Oh, start UHC is running. So you see how it says 144? That's the current radius. Uh, PvP is now enabled because this was a really short save time. Oh, this is the actual zero zero box it's a uh, barrier block thing that uh, keeps the game alive now if I can get out to 138 you'll see that the border is going to shrink really quickly and the feather falling or sorry the, uh, the slow falling at the beginning is to make sure that we can um, actually get to the ground because when you load a new chunk it doesn't know how far that chunk or how far to generate you off the ground so it generates you at the highest possible block generated so now taking damage 108 okay now I'm in the safe zone oop 102 Now I'm in the safe zone again, and then 102 is the safe zone, so you can see it just continues to shrink in and in and in, pushing us in to get into a fight with each other. So as you can see, setting it up is not too bad. Uh, there is the small bug of if you don't actually uh, set up your 0, 0, if you don't actually load 0, 0, it can not work properly but that is all i have for you <laughs> uh this is mad hatter in uh, dead invisible mode and i'm out you guys have fun bye